Hi, Peter from Callouts here. So today I wanted to do a very quick tutorial on the split screen templates and show you how you can add a little bit of different video formats into it and a little bit of a special effect. Okay, so let's dive into Camtasia. So here we are in Camtasia and I've set the project to be uh, 1920 times 1080 full HD and this is because the templates are created for this size. It will work in other dimensions but you may get irregularities when you adding uh, videos and images into the template. So um, to make everything sure that it works start with this setting. And we then go after installation, it has installed itself into the library and it's installed itself as 090 split screens 01. And in the works are also split screens volume 2. Hopefully it will be released in a couple of weeks. And so, and in the folder we have a 3, 6 and 10 second uh, because your videos will be uh, shaped by this length when you're using it in the quick properties. Uh, you can add different lengths of videos, but you will have to manually enlarge the templates or make the, di uh, the duration longer. Okay, so we, in this example I will use the three second uh, splits. And we open it if it wants to open, there we go. And for example we can take the vertical round here. And so I start with dragging this one to the timeline. And this is how it looks. So you have a little intro animation and then showing the three videos and images and an outro. So these templates, the center point of them are placed. So each is in the center here. Uh, right, so if you have a video and you want to show something on the left or right hand side of the video, uh, because this is going to be a full H video, so the video is going to go something like this. And if you want to have a, you have an action on the left hand side that you want to focus on, you have to manually move this one. So, and as the first example, we have the normal full HD, which it was made for. So what you do is you can drag them directly from outside and straight into the template and it will place itself there. You can also, if you have the media in the media bin, drag it from the media bin and drop it on the center. And finally, you can right click it and choose import file. And on my desktop, I will go to full HD, that one, and open it. And it's going to be imported there the same way. So all three ways work. What doesn't work is if you're having a clip on the timeline and you have the quick properties there and the clip there. You cannot drag it from the timeline and up into that. It has to happen from outside or from the media bin. Uh, okay, so because when I have this picked, I can see them there. And then I try to drag this one and it disappears. So that is not possible to do. You cannot drag it from the timeline. Okay, so that is all three are now in the center of the video. So we don't see the left and right hand side of the video. Now, if we wanted to change the left video, for example, and show the left part of that video, we need to go into the templates. So we will open it up here and you have the main timeline. And now you have the, the template open here in the second folder. So we have the left center and right. Okay, so we pick the left one and because there are things over, if I click here now I'm gonna grab something else. I could either lock all of the other layers and grab this one or I will hold simply hold down shift and use the mouse key uh, arrows, the arrow keys and move it over. So there now this one is showing the left, this one is showing the center and for fun we will move the right video to this side. And there we have that part of the video. Now we can play it quickly to see. 
something like that. So that's how you move the videos. Now, uh, let's close this one down for a moment. Open this. Now we wanted to have another format. So here I have a smaller format. I have a, this is full HD. I have an HD format. Now we want to use an HD together with a full HD, for example, and we want to change the center to use this video. We drag it and drop it in. Now this one is smaller than the size. So that doesn't work. And we cannot change it up here in the quick properties. So the same goes here. We have to go into the uh, folder or the, the template and edit this one individually. So what I do is I go in and I click it, choose it. And we have the scale here, which we can scale up. So I can drag it or I can write in a value and the mask is lying on top. So it still covers. So let's just click here on the side of it and use the cursor keys to step it down. So I'm choosing the down arrow key uh, to get it to be the right size. So something like that. So there now we have changed the, the middle one too. So that's how we get it to be the correct size. And the same works for all dimensions. So now in this example, I want to change the left one to a vertical video instead. So I go into the template or rather I choose it and we wanted the left one. So we drag the vertical video to the left one and there. And now it's malformatted with the mask. So let's go in and look at it. And we have, it's the bottom one and it's placed in the center of the video when we dragged it in. So we now use the cursor keys again. So I hold down shift and I drag it to the left and place it there. So now I place it in the correct location and the mask is working as it should. We can see it on the main timeline or we can see it inside the template playing it through. So that's how you use different sizes. Now I took another a little bit of a weird size. It's like a old TV size, I think. Something like that. So now we're going to use that one for the right template. So we go out to the main timeline. We choose the template. We drag in that video. There, also misplaced. So I go in. I find the correct video and now I need to move it to the right and I need to scale it up. So I, I can also move it here in position, let's say 200, see where we got, let's say 400, something like that. Let's move it with the mouse keys easier. So I got to go out of that one. And then we need to scale it up. There we go. So now we have exchanged all three to different, various different sizes. And let's take a look. There we go. So that's how you change timelines and adjust them. And uh, let me show you another little trick that I included in the template. So if we drag a, to a vertical clip in, we have two videos with square corners. Now I prepared in the shape uh, fields of the two, we have prepared a little corner rounding. So what we can do is, if we drag in two videos, let's use some sizes. We can use one of this and one vertical. I choose the template again. I drag in the vertical to use in the left hand side. And the other format on the right hand side. There. Now I'm going to place them correctly. So I find the left video. And I'm going to scale it up a little bit. 
just so it covers the edges. And I'm not going to move that one. It's centered and it looks fine. And we pick the other one and we scale that one up. Let's say I want to move it just a little bit to the left. Now I was still on the scale, so I got to click out of the scale. And there we have it how we want it. So that's how it looks. And now we want to have corner rounding. So I've added corner rounding in the shapes. So you click the shape and go to the setting and add the corner rounding. And the same for that shape and the corner rounding. So now we have a little bit of corner rounding set on that. And most of the templates, if not all, I think that I included it on all. Otherwise you can add it the same way that it's set here. So now you have a corner rounding as well, which makes it a little bit of a different view. I see that the scale here on the left one is not entirely correct. So I'm going to just adjust it up a little bit more. I picked the left one and we're going to scale it to 90 there. And now you see the corner rounding correctly as well. So that's how you use different formats in this. Uh, let's let's do a test uh, with a completely different size. Uh, let's change the project settings to a like a vertical small or a four or five. 1080 times 350 and we apply that. So now the templates are not going to fit correctly in it. So we can enlarge it and videos are going to be outside the edges here, but we're not going to care about that. We can put an animation on it, for example, shift A and I start there and use it over the whole video and we want it to end up over there and we drag out the animation okay so now we change them in and we put the vertical in the left one and we put the up here we put the full hd one uh, we put the HD one in the right down corner. It looks like, like they have filled correctly. Something weird happening in the end there. Okay, here I see the video is longer. That's why it's placed itself outside. So it's good to adjust the length of the video in case they cover outside. So we got a, a video sticking out uh, longer than the mask and that's what's caused that problem there. Still have something going on. Let me just adjust all three sticking out. So now they're same length and this one, the mask stops here. So that one should be covered there by the mask. And now it should work correctly. Okay. So that's how you add different uh, dimensions to the templates and also how you can add in an easy way corner rounding. And uh, I'm looking forward to presenting the new split screen templates coming shortly. And if you have any questions or anything, you can post it on YouTube or open a support ticket with callouts or anything like that. Okay, see you soon.